Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. This little background screen that you see behind me is a cool new game that Extent and Team allowed me to play on the test net for the last little while. So I just wanted to talk through it because it's about to come out. I'm recording this video uh, a couple days before, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it uh, posted like the day before to bring some awareness about it. And then um, as soon as I get back from vacation, then I'm gonna actually get in and, and play it live with you guys. So anyway, here it is. It's a play to earn game. Go ahead and ignore this countdown because it will be later uh, by the time this video launches it'll be like 24 hours before launch so you're gonna be able to see it but it's called Bob Arena it's on the Binance smart chain play to earn game super cool uh, you can play play through the UI there's a marketplace documents all that so we'll just go over some of this but first off let's just jump in and take a look the idea is that you're gonna level up your characters and your heroes and you're gonna prance around through the UI and collect things obviously this one's the test mode this is gonna be the BNB version that's gonna be live and it's kind of got that old school feel you're able to to navigate it through you can use this um, on mobile but i haven't tried it on there yet obviously to do that that'll be simple simple to uh, interact and over on this side you got this available but you can use your keys to walk around and interact i won't spend too much time here because we're going to jump over and discuss it in the white paper but obviously you want to find these new crystals and there's two main ways to do that you can do it through the quest masters or the vendors so a key element of course is going to be finding these crystals so you can level up those heroes and you can upgrade those heroes via a bnb but sometimes those upgrades are gonna fail if that happens a hero is actually gonna be destroyed so here's where it's interesting of course because games are cool but games where you can actually earn money is better uh, so you can use your heroes to fight in arenas obviously if you win you're gonna get bnb which obviously is money and you're gonna get other items as rewards real simple out the gate here are the rules each arena lasts seven days so you've got seven days in between that period to level up interact all that stuff each hero can be used only once after that period, they die off. And when they die off, you're gonna be compensated in the amount of BNB that that hero was worth. Here are the payouts in BNB form. Obviously, this stuff is gonna be way more important, way easier to understand as you're chomping through the game once it goes live. And these are those items that you get compensated. So you get your BNB, and then you can also get any of these items for every one of those battles you have in the arenas. Like I said, I won't play too much on here, but I can drive my character around. I can go into the arenas, get ready for the battles, can level up. So I've got all that stuff. But let's jump over to the white paper real quick because this will be a lot more fun if you understand uh, how it's going to work. And then, of course, when it goes live next week. Okay, down to the details. So like I was saying, play to earn game on the Binance Smart Chain. Just a good way to earn some BNB. Bob Arena, the game, is not a game based on NFTs or tokens. It's not an ROI yield farm, and it's not a referral-based system. So it's just a game to play you can have fun with. It is an entire ecosystem that they're planning on building out where the in-game assets, all those gems and whatnot that you're gonna pick up, you're gonna be able to use those in the marketplaces and everything. And they said uh, future expansions. So obviously when they build games, the ability to ex expand on that and create expansions is extremely easy, really popular, as you guys all know in the video game world. And they say it's a probability strategy-based game where the distribution of B&B during arenas is determined by the statistics and the drop percentages of heroes and items and game play elements such as arena strategies. Simply put, once you get rolling in the game, the idea of course is to collect those in-game assets and collect the B&B, continue to level up your character, start to get into the game theory, hopefully make some money along the way. To get in, super simple. You just need your phone if you want a game on the phone or obviously your PC. If you're watching my channel, you guys already have a wallet. You've got BNB in the wallet, so you guys are set to go. You gotta do a couple things. We'll go to the quick links. You gotta uh, buy crystals. To buy crystals, once you start the game, obviously you'll have BNB in your wallet. You just gotta go find this character. The character's name is Mist. You select how much you want and you can get them that way. There's also another way to get them, which is actually just to buy them directly from the website. And to do that, you just go click Mist and you can buy them here. And how to get to that is, you go to the main screen, you scroll down, you click Mist, get them right here. And we'll go back, heroes and items. And obviously you can use those crystals that you have to, uh, to upgrade your hero. Where does it say that? Right here. Among all the other things that it can do, each crystal can be opened and will transform into a hero. So after a crystal is open, new heroes created. There's eight different types of heroes in this game. Each one of those heroes that you open are, is already gonna have a predetermined level. And each one of those levels has a predetermined amount of BNB &B that it can earn in the arenas. So obviously you want the rare ones and the ones that are earning more BNB. &B. So boom, you get the crystals, you open them, you can go directly in to fight the skeletons, just participating in those arena fights. Of course, that's how you're gonna earn BNB. Those guys will also help you find more crystals and get in-game assets. Uh, you can also sell these guys in the marketplace so you can kind of level up. In-game assets down here somewhere. Um, they've got the merger, which combines two shards. That'll create a new crystal. The base price is 0.3 BNB. 
S merger combines three shards, new crystal 0.6 BNB, so that's better. And the green crystals are special because they allow you to actually upgrade that hero without the chance of those guys dying off. Like I mentioned before, there's a chance that that could happen. In this case, if you use a green crystal, it will not. All right, obviously you find that stuff in the arenas when you're battling shards, where it references right here. Obviously those are just the fallen heroes. I mentioned that earlier. So once a hero loses or gets destroyed, they turn into shards and you can couple those up, right? You got a merger, you take two shards, you can get that 0.3 BNB, three shards for the 0.6 BNB. All right, let's jump over to heroes. So this hero's power, obviously what level they're at, it's gonna depend on how much BNB is actually in that one. So the base is what you originally played to create the hero. So uh, 0.34, about a third of a BNB, all the way up to level eight, which is 20 BNB, which is pretty insane for a game like this. And then you can battle with that hero for seven days. Again, these arenas, until the arena is completed, that arena is only gonna last seven days. So this is the basic rules and how to get started. Again, this is gonna launch in five days. So by the time you watch the video, it's gonna be about a day out. Just give you an opportunity to get in early. The website to go to, of course, I'll link that down below, but it's uh, bobarena.tech. Once you land on the site, you wanna do the simple stuff, go ahead and read the documents, jump over to the white paper. Any information you wanna know is there. If you're like me, while I was in here testing, I had to kind of jump over and read different things from the white paper to help get me enough information to know what the heck I was talking about. So that might happen to you as well, but don't worry, like it'll click after a few minutes. In addition to that, as soon as I get back, I'm gonna be, uh, I'll play the game live so you guys can check it out and see what I'm doing and see what my strategies are. Don't forget also to click join the community. All that does is take you to the Telegram and if you can jump into the Telegram, you can ask a lot more questions there as well. So this was just meant to be a really quick once over, kind of show you the game, let you know what's coming tomorrow by the time you see the video and give you the opportunity to jump in early right at launch if you're really into these play to earn games. Nice thing about this one is it is a trusted team. They've been working on it for a while, done other protocols that I've been in. So I have no reason to believe that this one is gonna be Safu. But as always, make sure you do your own research anytime you're playing around. If it's games in the crypto world or you're playing around with a crypto protocol, just make sure you do your own research, put in risk capital, have fun with it. I think this is a game that was designed really well. They did a really good job with the UI. The game theory is cool and I think they have a super cool team. So get in, check it out. Let me know what you think. I won't be able to play this live until I get back into town, which will be shortly after Christmas so we can sync up then. But if you have any questions, of course, I'll be, I'll be online responding to messages in the Telegram chat and all that. So get in early, have fun with this one, and happy investing.